Reformation in Tudor England, 1547-1570 The Protestant Party and the King In this video we are going to be talking about Edward VI and his party. Let's first discuss his upbringing. He was long awaited and therefore had a very protected upbringing. Until he was six he was only among women and cared for by Mother Jack. His real mother, Jane Seymour, unfortunately died during childbirth. Catherine Parr, Henry's final wife, offered maternal affection and he often called her mother. He and Henry had a traditional father-son relationship and they saw each other infrequently. Instead, reports on Ed were sent to Henry's ministers. Out of his servants, he had three physicians, six surgeons, two apothecaries, a French cook, a stone engraver, an organ maker, three court painters, a French tutor, and five scholars. Three grooms and five gentlemen were always present in order to protect Ed. There was even one in his bedchamber. He was not allowed to do contact sports such as jousting. Edward's character. Edward was naturally studious, intelligent, and devout. He enjoyed hunting, rackets, archery, observing jousting and horse riding. He was very serious and there were very, very few known moments of him laughing. He was often cold to others and in the chronicle there were only two mentions of his sister Elizabeth. He had a fever at 4 years old and measles at 14 years old but he was relatively healthy and strong. Ed's education Ed had an education from 1543 to 1552. He had two main tutors, Richard Cox, a Protestant, and John Cheek, a humanist. His education took it in an exclusive palace school with 14 other high-born boys, along with Barnaby Fitzpatrick, a whipping boy. Edward was devoted to his studies and was interested in logic, philosophy and astronomy. William Thomas wrote for him a discourse on religion and economy. Edward's government. He had a reduced number of servants and was under the close control of his uncle. After the fall of his uncle, he took a more serious role in government. In 1551, he attended Privy Council meetings. In 1552, he made more decisions. And by, 1550, and by this year, he had reached the age of maturity. And there, self-confident and assertive. His most serious act was the change of succession from Mary I to Lady Jane Grey. Aims, beliefs, policy and impact of subset. Social policies. The Vacancy Act of 1824 was a result of the number of the poor increasing. They were becoming more mobile and expanded into towns. This was an unpopular law which made able-bodied people who were out of work with, for, for three days were branded with a V and sold into slavery for two years. Further offence meant permanent slavery. Children were often taken from their parents and made apprentices. However, this was never actually put into effect, but it was the most the government had done about the poor. The Enclosure Act of 1549 this was a commission to investigate enclosure, and on March 1549, 5%, there was a 5% tax on personal property and a special tax on sheep. This created unrest among the landed classes. Economic policies Problems Somerset had to deal with Henry had begun large-scale debasement, which lowers the value of money. Henry also spent heavily and borrowed from home and abroad, which led to a massive debt. He spent much money on wars with Scotland and France, and Somerset had also spent a lot on war with Scotland, and debasement had continued. Somerset's solution was nothing. He had no attempt on reforming the government finances, so it wasn't very effective. Political. Political leadership, I guess, and um, style of Somerset's style of government. The Letters Patent grant was a legal document that granted Somerset quasi-royal powers. He, he used more proclamations than any other Tudor ruler. He has also been accused of ruling autocratically and used his own household servants as government officials. How 
does that make sense? He used the priv- his use of the Privy Council. He effectively bypassed the Privy Council. Whilst he did have a lot of political control, it didn't last for long, not being very effective. Somerset's foreign policy. 1547, he launched a naval and land invasion in order to increase the empire. He used garrisons in order to protect land in Scotland and appealed for, to the Scots for a marriage between Ed and Mary, Queen of Scots. France eventually evades Scotland and garrisons were too expensive. Somerset spent £351,521 on their wages. Not very effective if you ask me. The Ains believes policies and impacts of Northumberland. His rise to power. Those involved. Lord Protector Somerset, Conservatives Earl of Arundel, Earl of Southampton, Earl of Russell and Lord St. John, Protestant Reformers, Duke of Northumberland and the Archbishop Cranmer. Grievances of Somerset. He had poor leadership and alienated many and was reluctant to delegate with other officials. He built lavishly and added £5,000 to his income. His social policy also alienated the aristocracy. The coup of Somerset, 1549. Somerset's new council is opposed and made, so he made an unsuccessful appeal for the support of Lord Russell's army. He ordered all soldiers to leave the city of London and move the, the king to Hampton Court. Conservatives accused him of kidnapping the king. Somerset appeals to Northumberland for help but eventually surrenders and is imprisoned. Changes to the council. In 17, on the 17th of October, the majority of the council was religious, religiously conservative. In late October, Sir Ed Peckham was removed. On the 6th of November, Thomas Goodrich was sworn into the council and on the 29th of November, the Marquis of Dorset was also appointed to the council. By December, the majority of the council was Protestant. Northumberland takes power. Arundel and Southampton were planning to overthrow Northumberland and planned to use this case against Somerset since they, they were friends. Northumberland was warned by Lord St. John and said those who sought Somerset sought him. Lord Russell and St. John switched sides and Arundel and Southampton were dismissed. The aftermath. Tried to, he tried to reconcile with Somerset and by mid-1550 Somerset returned to court. However, he had not changed his mischievous ways and eventually he was executed. Northumberland's social policies. He reversed all of Somerset's acts, ending commissions and repealed the sh- repealing the sheep tax. He repealed the Vacancy Act and took control of stock to relieve Christ the crisis caused by harvest failures. In 1550, he introduced new treason laws. Economic policies. The Marquis of Winchester was appointed Lord Treasurer and tasked to reform the government's finances. The end of debasement. He did not recall debased coinage and replace them. He told people to instead lower prices and told them to trust the coinage without giving reason. The collapse of the Antwerp market created more economic problems. Reduced expenditure. There was drastic reductions in military and household spending. But they returned Boulogne to France for £133,333 and the garrisons were withdrawn from Scotland. Getting rid of debts. In 1550 the debt was £300,000 but by 1553 this had lowered to £180,000 due to the sale of Crown and Chantry lands. Once sold, it did not contribute to the crown income. Political style. Style of government. He organised the government and council to secure his position. He staffed the household with his men and they controlled access to Ed. Use of the Privy Council. He did much better than Somerset and even extended the use of it. He made himself Lord President of the Council and had the power to fix agendas and meetings. He assumed the king's power to create new councillors. Foreign policy. With relations with France. Hostilities were brought to a close and he made himself general warden of the north and even inspected the borders. 
he restored the boundary to how it was before. Relations with France Edward Ingate was engaged to Princess Elizabeth of France, but relations still remained tense. Trade with the Netherlands. The cloth trade remained successful for a while. Um, relations with Charles V. These are tense. Charles was upset because England helped France in the war. He was also upset that England was now Protestant. 